Mexico is well known for its incredible big game hunting opportunities, but it also offers some of the best waterfall hunting experiences you can imagine. What an amazing bird! With our tight schedule, we managed to fit in a day of geese hunting in the state of Chihuahua. Let's go! Join us as we attempt to complete the Mexican slam in just one day. We are with Miguel here, the boss. We're going to set up the decoys. Yeah, we will. Welcome to the Chihuahua, it's no good fields. So Miguel, you have been scouting here and you have seen? Yes. Yeah, we saw the geese last morning. They were here around 8 a.m. until 10.30, something like that. And they were eating over here the leftover from the corn. They were in all the grain that the, the combine dropped when they did the harvest. Good morning everyone, it's 5 a.m. and we have decided to spend a morning hunting snow geese and yeah, it's the first time hunting geese for me, so completely new experience, a lot of questions and really looking forward to see how the waterfall hunting in Mexico is. I know it's cold. <laughs> and how, do, how do you set this? In, according to the wind or something? Or to We're going to set up all everything according to the wind. We have a, a really low wind today. It's gonna be like at three miles per hour. So it's really low. I would like to have a nine to 10 miles per hour wind, but we're gonna do what we can. So what we're doing right now is setting up the blind. We're gonna be facing towards the, 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 the lake. The big lake is gonna be that way. Also, we're gonna have a little bit of, not trouble, but the sun is gonna be in our faces a little bit. It's how it is over here in Chihuahua. It's really bright and sunny, but we should be fine. This is the way to do it. Like a, it's gonna be straight like this, not like this. So, just a little bit. Okay, what we're gonna do is over here is try to set up a lot of decoys the more, the more we can. Make to look like uh, the geese are feeding harder in this area. Like uh, the better food is over here. So when they are flying over, they want to try to go ahead to this uh, flock of decoys and they're going to fly over us so we can shoot them right in the face. So they are all facing that way, not only for the wind, but like they are walking that way. Walking towards that way, exactly. The wind and also walking towards that area. So we're going to be over there. So they're going to try to fly. Normally the geese they are really hard feeding guys, like they're always competing each other, so they try to be ahead of the other ones to beat them on the food. So they're gonna try to land over here. Also we are making a we're gonna make a little space over there that we call the killing holes for the landing area. So also they try to land over there. They land over there because it's wide and open and then after that they're gonna start jumping and try to go ahead of the, the, the next flock they are seeing, like I try to beat them on the food. Okay. Because what they do over here, they try to build fat so they can uh, go back to the breeding areas. And now is the time to build fat eating all the grain that they are on the fields. Yeah, so they are really hard on food then? Yeah, they are hard on food. Hard and aggressive. They are an aggressive animal. You want to No. Okay, so what is the sequence? Okay, this is what we do. I think this is the best technique for pop out of the blind. So you're gonna be laying down like this, you have the gun, straight straight footwork, and then you're gonna, when I say take him or shot him or whatever, you're gonna push the doors hardest as you can. So push them, and then grab the gun and do a sit up and shoot at them. Try to shoot the ones in front of your barrel over here. No go sideways because you have your your partner right next to you. So you're gonna have to 
let them shoot those for you. Just worry for the ones they are straight ahead of you. Pretty much that's it. Always the safety on until it's time to shoot. There's plenty of time to take off the, the safety off. So safety first because we are too close and we have 12 gauge shotgun so there's not much we can do about it if it's an accident. Perfect. The when in Mexico, burritos for breakfast. It's key to shoot a lot of geese. This is amazing guys, we are having a blast, we have been already like for an hour, a lot of birds coming, small groups which is great because we, each of us is shooting one at a time and yeah, having a freaking amazing day. What an amazing bird, a crane. Se agacha tonta o no? Tú, tú manda. So it's very important the timing. The geese circle around a couple of times to double check everything is going right. Hay uno, hay uno, hay uno aquí, aquí, aquí que viene, que viene. Bien, gente. <laughs> That's a good friend. So it's very important to be patient and let those geese to circle around, double check, make everything is fine. And when they are just like right above us, take them. So, what an amazing morning. What I appreciate most about hunting is the wide variety of experiences it offers. Every method of hunting has been refined over the years and I enjoy learning about the different animals, strategies and the unique approaches of hunters and cultures. Those are the, the sandhill crane 
They don't look like very nice looking, but they actually call them the ribeye of the sky. Experiencing my first geese hunt with someone like Miguel, who is a worldwide expert in waterfall hunting, was truly amazing. Didn't even touch. That's no sé, pues no les pegan, cabrones, no mames. I think my cartridges don't have enough pellets. Enough punch? Enough. <laughs> now that Roberto is filming, we're not hitting anything. <laughs> The cartridge that we are shooting, number two, 36 grand. Three inches, so what we is, can reach them. What is this? Heavier? Explosive? Heavier ammunition. Explosive, that's what I need. It's ten, TNT. <laughs> Magnum. It's all about the size. While ducks typically feed at night and return to ponds or lakes early in the morning, geese do the opposite. They fly out of the water at sunrise to feed in the fields during the first part of the day. Once they are full, there will be a second pass of birds when they are returning back to their bedding areas. Guys, when the geese are coming, you have to aim when they are coming this way, like when they are showing you the wings or the head or something like that. When they turn and you shoot and you hit the body, it's gonna be tough to get them because you don't hit any beetle or crucial areas on the goose. You need to hit it on the wings or the head to drop them. Tío, creo que es algo tirando al gancho con la manzana en la boca, por no soltar. <laughs> Four, four shots per, four shots per goose, per goose. Bien chicos. Okay, Pedro. I think, I, I think so, we are done for the day. It's pretty much 10 a.m., 10.30. The geese are not flying anymore. So I guess we had a good hunt today. We can finish. And thank you for coming, my friend. Thanks a lot, eh? Yeah. It has been a hell of an experience. Okay. It was my first geese hunt, and it hasn't disappointed. Awesome. It has been so exciting. Yeah. So it will, not, it will not be the last. You have put something inside me that I think is going to chase me forever. Awesome. You can come whenever you want, my friend. Let's don't unload the guns and start packing up. nice mixed bag, right? Yeah, pretty nice. So which are the main species here in, in Mexico? Well, we're gonna start over here with the speckle bellies. They are pretty nice. They are, they call like a dark geese. Speckle bellies because they have a, a lot of speckles on their bellies. Then we have a, a snow goose face blue. This is a juvie. It's not an adult, but it's still a, a blue goose. Then we have the laser. The laser snow goose. These are more the, the more common in Mexico. And then we have the rose, rose goose. Which is, is very similar, right? It's Probably pretty similar. much the same, just a smaller size. And they are mature, full mature bears. So, and the very last one is the sandhill crane. We have a lot of them over here. It's a pretty nice bird. And they're very tasteful. 
is what they say, yeah. They call the ribeye of the sky. We can find out that, about that later tonight. Hey, hey thanks a lot. Yep. Amazing experience. You're welcome. And if anyone likes geese hunting, you know where to come. Yeah, <laughs> send, them, send them this way. No, but no. <laughs> Fallaste alguno, eh? <risa> Pero también pegamos otros. Ha fallado bastante, ¿no? ¡Viva México, cabrones! Bien, buena tirada.